This video was brought to you by CuriosityStream. When it comes to EU accession, for obvious reasons, most of the media's recent attention has been directed at Ukraine, which was, last month, awarded candidate status to the EU. However, Ukraine isn't the only country vying for EU membership. Two other countries, North Macedonia and Albania, have been waiting for ages to enter the bloc, with little to show for it. At least, until now. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at why it's taken so long for these two hopefuls to even be within a chance of joining, what's changed in recent weeks, and whether North Macedonia and Albania might be about to become the EU's 28th and 29th member states. If you like our videos and want more from us, then be sure to subscribe to help us get to half a million. Now, before we start, it's worth highlighting that both North Macedonia and Albania's paths to the European Union have been long and difficult. Both countries were identified as potential candidates by the EU some 20 years ago in 2003, but progress since then has stalled. Just one year after being identified as a potential candidate, North Macedonia agreed and implemented a stabilization and association agreement with the EU, the first within the region. The agreement brought North Macedonia even closer to Europe, and in March 2004, it formally applied for EU membership. The European Council subsequently granted candidate status in December of 2005, so things were looking good for the country's chances. When it comes to Albania, the story is broadly similar, although a little bit slower. Having been identified as a potential candidate at the same 2003 summit as North Macedonia, they only formally applied for membership in 2009. Unfortunately for Albania though, the European Commission determined that Albania had yet to achieve a necessary degree of compliance with the EU's membership criteria. So Albania went away and worked on these problems, until eventually, in June of 2014, Albania was awarded the same candidate status to the EU. Since then, however, both countries' applications have stalled. Despite continuously recommending association negotiations be opened since 2009 in the case of North Macedonia and 2018 for Albania, Various EU member states, including Greece, Germany, the Netherlands, France, and Bulgaria, have taken turns to hold up the process with different demands of the two hopefuls. The main initial stumbling block for North Macedonia was Greece. That's because, from their independence in 1991 all the way through until 2019, North Macedonia was simply known as the Republic of Macedonia. And Greece took issue with this, largely because of the adjacent Greek region of Macedonia, as well as them having a wider cultural and historical dispute with the region. Anyway, in 2019, the two countries finally came to an agreement. The country of Macedonia would henceforth be known as the Republic of North Macedonia, or just North Macedonia for short, with both countries agreeing not to attempt to appropriate the other country's territory and establish a joint commission to adjudicate. Unfortunately for North Macedonia though, once the Greece issue was dealt with, Bulgaria accused North Macedonia of blatant denialism and anti-Bulgarian attitudes, and as such, demanded that EU officials and institutions ceased using the term Macedonian language. In a memorandum seen by Politico, Bulgaria insisted that EU documents needed to acknowledge that, quote, the official language used in today's Republic of North Macedonia can only be considered to be a written regional form of the Bulgarian language. Bulgaria's foreign minister went even further, arguing that North Macedonia's claim to self-determination was, quote, based on hatred, history theft, and denial of Bulgaria. A solution was finally proposed by Emmanuel Macron in late June, at the very, very end of the French presidency of the Council of the EU. The proposal would, among other things, see North Macedonia amend its constitution to recognize Bulgarian Macedonians as a distinctive minority, as well as agreeing to regular assessments of its efforts to maintain good neighborly ties and set up a framework to resolve remaining issues. Naturally, this French proposal needed the approval of both North Macedonia and Bulgaria, 
And in late June, the Bulgarian parliament voted to approve the proposal with cross-party support. But things weren't quite as simple in North Macedonia. The French proposal was actually initially rejected, with North Macedonia's Prime Minister stressing that EU accession talks must start before any constitutional changes, and that there must be no further conditions on accession from either the EU as a bloc or Bulgaria specifically. However, the Prime Minister's opinion apparently changed after talks with the European Union, and a few days later he admitted that Macron's proposal formed the basis for opening a broad consultative process. The proposal was then put to a vote in the North Macedonian Parliament, where it passed with 68 votes. Although it's worth saying that the opposition staged a walkout in protest, with the nationalist VMRO claiming that the agreement will lead to a, quote, Bulgarianization of the country. Regardless, though, this agreement now commits North Macedonia to changing their constitution in order to recognize the Bulgarian minority that we mentioned earlier as well as introducing new and specific measures to protect minority rights and banish hate speech. Now, constitutional amendments require a two-thirds majority to pass, which means that 80 votes are required in North Macedonia's 120-seat parliament. Now, that could be difficult, because the opposition, VRMO, who hold just shy of a third of all seats, say that they will oppose such an amendment. And given that just 68 voted in favour of the agreement, it seems that the necessary constitutional amendment will struggle to pass. In any case, the Prime Minister took to Facebook to celebrate the agreement, writing congratulations and huge thanks to the MPs who showed a democratic capacity today, supported the conclusion of the European proposal, and voted for the European future of the country. There is no greater patriotism than supporting the country. So, now that Bulgaria and North Macedonia have given a green light to the French proposal, North Macedonia, and consequently Albania, can finally take the next step in the long road towards European accession. And as such, on Tuesday the 19th of July, the European Union formally launched accession talks with the two countries. Commission President Ursula von der Leyen hailed the abundance of strategic patience shown by Albania and North Macedonia, and confirmed that the screening process will now begin, meaning that the chapters of EU law will now be negotiated and agreed on one by one. All in all then, it looks like Albania and North Macedonia are firmly on the path to EU membership. But the question is, this time round, is this for real? Both countries have been promised membership for years, if not decades, and only time will tell whether this time is any different. If you want more from TLDR, then be sure to check out our exclusive videos on Nebula. We've got explainers on all kinds of issues, like Ukraine's alliances and Europe's lack of leadership as well as discussions about Europe forcing Apple to use USB-C and the UK's leadership race. We've also got a bunch of fun videos like our blooper reel and office tour. It's not only the exclusive videos either. You'll get all of our regular videos ad-free on Nebula and often earlier than on YouTube. If you're interested, then I have good news because we partnered with CuriosityStream, the home of the best documentaries online. And thanks to them, you can get both streaming services, CuriosityStream for the documentaries and Nebula for bonus TLDR for less than $15 a year. That's a wild deal and a 26% discount on their already low price. So get yourself a ton of documentaries and exclusive content from all of your favorite creators, including the Daily Briefing Extended Edition, by signing up using the link below. Thanks for your support.